Hi, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks, and Driving the Bricks. Haha, <laughs> wasn't that cliche, guys? Hi, this is John with Kids Bricks. First toy review, and today we'll be looking at Lego Star Wars set 75082 TIE Advanced Prototype. And now you're watching the speed build. Now we've got that done and over with, let's have a look at the entire set. You'll be getting one TIE Advanced Prototype, one TIE Fighter Pilot, one Imperial Officer, and the Inquisitor. First up, the minifigures. You're looking at the TIE Fighter Pilot. This guy has got the authentic pilot helmet from the Star Wars Saga. And inside, we see the typical clone face. The helmet's printing is detailed and so are the torsos front and rear. This is the Imperial Officer. He's got the baggy eyes and ranked. Though I'm not really sure what it means, but the front and rear torso is finely printed. Next, we have the Inquisitor. I really love this figure. His helmet is really interesting with two-tone plastic. New technique introduced by Lego. His armor is designed to hold his double-bladed rotating lightsaber hilt at the back. Phew. That was a mouthful, guys. And look at that. Even the lightsaber is detailed enough to be recognized. You can have it single bladed or you can even have it double bladed like so. Amazing! Here's a close up of the armor. It's a little blurry but bear with me please. The front is cartoon series accurate and the shoulder pads have imperial logos printed on both sides. Not forgetting the legs and torso, the detailing on this figure is superb. Finally, the main feature of this set. My first impression was how so very compact it is when the wings are folded. This would be most useful during storage. The cockpit is clearly visible from the front and you can just make out the control yoke inside. Other details include a pair of grill pieces and sloping wing connections at the sides. Sticker details are minimal but it compensates with Lego contours and shapes to define the wings. There's also printed tiles and smooth tiles for smooth profiling all around the spacecraft. The back end exposes some detailing with translucent tiles and a trigger to shoot any one of the two spring-loaded shooters underneath the cockpit. When the wings are opened up, more features and profiles are exposed. It is very much capable of standing on its own with little friction at the hinges. The real estate in the cockpit is decent. It's easily accessed by people with big fingers like me. The front and top domes can be opened for access and the seating positions mm, can be fine-tuned easily. And there we go. All in all, to me this set is great in features and sturdy builds. It comes with 355 pieces age rated from 8 to 14. If there was any complaints, I would have asked for a storage space for the lightsaber blades. The retail pricing is on the high side with this one at 249 ringgits and 90 cents. That's about 70 cents per piece. There are however several retailers that may offer discounted prices on the internet. Hit us up on kidsbricks at gmail.com for more info. With that, I will have my leave. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. We welcome positive and character building feedbacks. More videos will be coming soon. I'll see you around.